everyone. So today I'm so excited to be filming an Owl Crate unboxing for you guys. So I recently made the decision that I was going to reduce the amount of monthly subscription boxes I get um, just because it was getting too overwhelming. But honestly, I could not say no when Owl Crate reached out to me to see if I wanted to do, if I wanted to receive a free box in exchange for an honest review. I could not say no. Guys, I have wanted to try out this subscription box for so long. It's just so exciting. If you don't already know, Owl Crate is a YA subscription box that includes a hardcover book along with a few bookish goodies. I'll include all of their information down below so you can check it out if you haven't already. So this month's box is a classic remix theme. So all I know is that it includes one book in here that's a retelling of a well-loved story. I love retelling, so of course I was excited to hear this, but I think what I'm even more excited about is the fact that it's a classic retelling because if you know me, you know that I haven't read a lot of classics. I didn't read a lot of classics in high school. Um, so I'm hoping that whatever is in here will motivate me to read the classic and the retelling because I'm just assuming that I've never read the classic. So let's just get into it because I've been staring at this box for a while now and all I wanna do is see what's inside. Look at those little owl prints. Magical monthly reads. Okay, why, why am I so bad at opening these things? Oh, once again, tapes right here guys, tapes right here. Guide to unboxing if you give two hoots. So cute. Okay guys, I'm gonna let you see it first, ready? Dun, 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 dun. They do such a good job of hiding these things. Okay, this is adorable. The Owl Crate Theater, magical monthly reads, so fantastic, so mysterious, running all through January. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this already. Guys, the Little Prince, mint and rose herbal tea, loose tea, which I'm really getting into, honestly, and this is amazing. And it's caffeine free. You guys know that I'm trying to be caffeine free these days. Well, haven't really started that <laughs> update for you, but it's gonna happen. I'm reducing my coffee drinking to one cup a day. We're gonna start there. And yeah, okay, I'm rambling. This is so great, y'all. I love The Little Prince, but um, I also watched it on Netflix pretty, I, I guess that was a couple months ago. It was so beautiful, like so beautifully, beautifully done. And that's awesome. I love the little blurbs on this card. It's a spoiler warning, so I have to read as I go but it says daydream about faraway lands with a soothing cup of mint tea created exclusively by a first edition tea company. This tea was inspired by one of our favorite classic literary characters, the little prince. So cute. All right, on to the next thing. Ooh, what is this? Oh my gosh, I might cry. This is so adorable. I can't handle this. <laughs> Okay, it's from the library of tea soap books and owl crate. Soap, the secret garden. Can you see that? You probably can't. It's very shiny right now, but um, it's just this adorable little soap and it's white tea and berries. And it's on this little like library card thing. And oh my gosh, that's so freaking cute. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm into that. Look at this little pin. It says the owl crate theater. So cute. Look at this. Ah, it's a Phantom of the Opera magnet. Oh, this is really cute. It says the Phantom of the Opera is there inside your mind and on your fridge. We hope you love this pretty magnet. Isn't that so pretty? I love that. Okay, this may be the coolest thing I've ever gotten in a subscription box. Guys, this is a calendar inspired by children's books. Look at how beautiful this is. Like, seriously? Oh my gosh. I mean, I love all things organization and calendars, but this is just so freaking perfect. The wind in the willows, oh. Oh my gosh, this may be the most beautiful bookmark I've ever seen. It says, everything was beautiful, and on the back it says, and nothing hurt, which is a quote I think from Slaughterhouse Five. Oh my gosh, it's watercolor, it's gorgeous. I am like so nervous I'm gonna lose it immediately. <laughs> it's not gonna happen guys, it's not gonna happen. This is too beautiful to lose track of. Isn't that so beautiful? I just like, I just wanna like frame it or something. <laughs> like I can't stop staring at it. Okay, so I also have this poster thing that's um, all about Marissa Meyer's uh, new graphic novel that's coming out I think later this month. And I guess she's the author from the Lunar Chronicle series, which I have not read yet, and I need to. If you've read it, let me know if, if I need to like bump that up on my TBR. Awesome. Okay, I think we're finally to the book. I can't believe how many bookish goodies I've gotten in this box. It's awesome. Oh, this is so cool, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. All right, Rose Blood. Sorry, I'm like, I'm like 
seriously just gushing over here. So this is Roseblood by A.G. Howard, and it's a retelling of Phantom of the Opera. Ah, I'm so excited. That is so cool. Okay, so this is a modern day retelling of Phantom of the Opera. Um, it's atmospheric and dark romance set in the tunnels of Paris. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna open it up here because it looks like I have a letter on the back. Oh, this is such a cool cover. I'm so into it already, guys. I'm so into it. Y'all, I just flipped open the book. It's written in red ink. Okay, so I have a letter from the author. Um, and it says, Dear Al Crate Reader, while rereading The Phantom of the Opera in preparation to write Roseblood, I was once again struck by the Phantom's loneliness, being rejected by so many because of his gruesome appearance, something he couldn't control or change. Any of us can relate to rejection. In high school, I was too introverted and shy to fit in. My clothes weren't cool enough, and neither was my beat-up Datsun. But there were other classmates dealing with far worse. A girl who'd been in a car accident and left her with brain trauma. A boy who walked alone to school each day in a worn-out jacket. Even when storms or snow weighed heavy on his shoulders, kids no, no one talked to due to rumors surrounding them. I defended that injured girl once when she was teased for being different. And it felt so good to step outside of my own problems and stand up for someone else, even though several classmates shunned me for it. That shining moment had such a imp positive impact on my life that when it came to when, that when it came time to build on the Phantom story, I wanted to give him a chance to embrace altruism, to step outside of his bitterness and help another human soul. However, there's a sacrifice involved as there was when I stood up for my classmate. I won't tell you if the Phantom does the benevolent thing and finds peace. You'll have to read Roseblood for that answer. But what I will do is challenge you to look for opportunities when you can set aside your own fear of rejection to help another person. There's nothing more rewarding than being a friend to someone who feels alone, even if it's only for one shining moment. Wishing you happy reading and courageous living, A.G. Howard. Oh, I love that. You guys know I love to read about authors' inspirations for writing their books, so that is very cool. So a little more synopsis on this book. Um, this says, when 17-year-old Rune, is, is it Rune? I think Rune? Is sent to a French art school, rumored to be the same opera house, the original Phantom once haunted, mysterious things begin happening in her life. Plagued with musical afflictions, Rune befriends an elusive violinist named Thorn while trying to keep at bay the creeping suspicion that someone is following her every move. Meanwhile, Thorne has dark secrets of his own, and he'll have to choose where his loyalties lie. Will he cross the only father he's ever known in order to protect Rune? We fall in love with the gorgeous writing and detailed research that went into this brilliant new take on a classic tale. We also hope you love the letter and signed book plate from A.G. Howard. Here's the book plate, very cool. <sighs> this is so cool, I can't wait to read this book. <laughs> So excited right now. Okay, so there's a card at the bottom of the book that's going to tell us what next month's um, theme is going to be. This is such a cool card. Okay, the theme of the February box is run away with the circus. Flip for the sneak peek. The February box will include a delicious item from Frost Beard Studio. It looks like a candle, which is so awesome. Gosh, you really can't have too many candles. And you guys know that I'm all about the circus because I'm about to film my book review for the Night Circus um, sometime today, I think, maybe tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that's awesome. Very, very cool. So many amazing bookish goodies. Like I can't even, I can't believe how awesome these goodies are. This might be one of my favorite unboxings ever. So that's it. I'm like gushing over here. But yeah, if you're interested in Owl Crate, definitely check out all the information down below. Let me know if you think this book sounds interesting because I am kind of freaking out about it a little bit. Like it sounds so, so cool. And I'm really into retelling. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you very soon. Bye.